what is up guys it's your boy andy matrix and holy smokes holy smokes i wanted to cover this story because well i mean of course it has to do with disney and i absolutely love just attacking and talking smack about disney it's one of my favorite pastimes <laughs> All right, so I am here at Yahoo News, yahoo.com. It says, fat check, right? Fat check. Disney Plus lost 23 million subscribers one night after trying to cancel Elon Musk, right? So for those of you who do not know, um, I think, yeah, it was November 30th. I think November 30th, November 29th. No, no, November 28th, 29th, something like that. It was a couple of days ago towards the end of November, Elon Musk, he was doing like an interview, right? And he said something about, you know, cancel culture. There were advertisers that were pulling out of Twitter. And then he said this about all the advertisers. I hope they stop. You hope, uh, don't advertise. You don't want them to advertise? No. What do you mean? If somebody's going to try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go f yourself. But go f yourself. Is that clear? I hope it is. Hey, Bob, if you're in the audience. Well, well let me ask you then. That's how I feel. Don't uh, advertise. Now, keep in mind, he also said, after he said F you, to the advertisers, he also said, I think he talked about Bob Iger, right? And Bob Iger, you know, uh, he mentioned Bob Iger because I think Disney, you have to understand, Disney is one of the biggest advertisers, right? Because Disney spends money on YouTube, Disney spends money on Twitter, and a couple of other advertising platforms. <clears throat> right? And a couple of other advertising platforms. So, Elon was like, hey, if you are going to pull out of Twitter, if you're going to take away your advertising dollars because you don't like you don't like having freedom of speech, you don't believe that people on the Internet should have freedom of speech, then go F yourself. Seriously, go F F U C K to yourself because we are not going to give up our freedom just, you know, just for money. And Elon Musk, this is why I like Elon Musk. I like Elon Musk because he is willing to lose money for the sake of keeping his freedom. I stand for this. I absolutely stand for this. You know, he is willing to lose billions of dollars on Twitter than to, you know, than to give up his freedom. Because there's a lot of people. We're living in a time where people are, are willing to give up their freedom just so that they can, you know, have money. This happened during the pandemic. I'm not going to go into it. You guys, you guys understand. You guys get the whole idea, you know. But, yeah, I'm really glad that Elon Musk didn't, you know, didn't give in. But here, let's, let's, get, let's go a little deeper. Uh, it said Disney Plus lost 23 million subs one night after trying to cancel Elon Musk. It said the Walt Disney Company, which decided long, long ago that it would assign itself to PC ideology, just found out what happens when you mess with Americans and their freedom of speech. Exactly. Americans, we know we build this country on freedom, baby. It says after the com after the company cut ties with Elon Musk because he mentioned the word Pizzagate, 23 million freedom-loving American patriots cut their ties with Disney Plus. Now, I don't believe that this is true. Now, I do believe, I do believe that after Elon Musk said this, many people did cancel their subscription. But what you have to understand is that. Disney was already losing losing subscribers. I mean, by the by the time where is it? So this article is from is from May. This is May 2023, and during this time, Disney had already lost four million subscribers. This is the second quarter of the year. So I just imagine. I imagine. I mean, is the number is probably not 23 million. It's probably somewhere around maybe 20 million. But Disney has been losing subscribers since last year. So I imagine every year they lose about two, three million subscribers. So by the end of the year, yeah, I would say this is pretty true. But I, I don't think that it's exactly like 23 million. I think maybe a couple of million people they don't subscribe after Elon Musk said that. Um, but again, over a long period of time, over the entire year, Disney has just been putting out crappy movies, crappy content, and as a result, people unsubscribe. 
it is no surprise. Same thing with the Disney Park. Same thing with many other Disney businesses. Like, Disney Park attendance has been the lowest it's ever been, especially during the summer season. Like, Disney World has been going down the toilet. It, it, it does not get as many people visiting the park as it used to. And honestly speaking, I'm going to tell you right now, I really don't think it's that great. I've been to Disney World. <laughs> I really don't think that Disney is Disney World is that great. It's okay. It's for kids. But anyways, I, Universal Studios is much better. But um, anyways, yeah. Disney. I mean... I, I'm pretty sure Disney has about like a hundred million plus subscribers so pretty soon I will say by next year it's probably gonna go even lower maybe to 50 million subscribers in total like they're really 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 going down the drain and they totally deserve it and honestly in a few years I think you know Bob Iger or the Disney executives and leaders they're gonna try to sell Disney to some other company because I mean you know who has time for it <laughs> But then again, after all that damage, who's, who wants to buy Disney? Who? I think the best way to save Disney is to sell it to like somebody else like overseas. Like maybe sell it to Japan. Sell Disney to Japan. <laughs> it, will, it will do way better if you sell it to Japan with anime. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Whatever your thoughts are, comment below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell for future notifications. It's your point in Matrix. Godspeed, baby.